That is, and most of the conditions which cause the valve to leak can be repaired. There's about 90% chance that we can repair that successfully. And when we are dealing with just an isolated valve problem, we do it minimally invasive without opening the chest from the front. So we, we do it either with a robot through the right chest or with a very small incision in between the ribs. And most of the time in, the, in, 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 in women, we make it just under the breast so it is not visible. It's underneath the bikini line, so to speak. The way we repair it is either we can narrow the, the, the orifice, it is called annuloplasty, if that is all there is, just the dilatation of that annulus with, with, the, with, the, with the enlargement of the heart. Or we can, if there is a specific uh, weakness in the tethers, we can replace them. We can replace them with artificial, these are, these are strands made out of Gore-Tex. So they can last life, you know, for the rest of the life of the patient. They don't break. So we can measure the length which normally should be, and we can, we can attach those from, the, from the inside the heart to the, to the edges of the leaflets. The third is if you have a lot of excessive tissue, which is protruding backwards, we can resect some of it, and then repair the leaflet of the valve to restore a normal geometry, and then strengthen it with the annuloplasty, which is a, which is the, which is the annulus, which is the orifice where the valve is attached. We put a semi-rigid, or a rigid, or sometimes a, a, a flexible ring or a band, to make sure that that annulus does not enlarge anymore.